one of the things that I'm asked quite often is, what is the best lure that I should throw? What's the best lure? Be it for certain circumstances, uh, different conditions, or overall, if you're facing new conditions, a new body of water, or maybe you're gearing up for a tournament, what lure should I throw? And my answer more often than not is go with your confidence. If everybody's telling you that chatterbaits are working, chatterbaits the best thing to do, but you never really throw chatterbaits, you don't have a lot of confidence in them, you're probably not going to have as much success as they did. No matter what everybody else tells you is working, go with the lure that you feel most confident in. If you're used to using a square bell crankbait, you have a lot of confidence in a square bell crankbait. I bet you, you throw a square bell crankbait, you'll have a much better day. Is there actually a magic lure that works better than anything else? Or is it all about your confidence and working that lure in the right conditions? So what's my confidence lure? Well, more often than not, 9 out of 10, I'm throwing a fluke. Or I'm on a new body of water, or I'm really just trying to figure out what those fish are doing today. My confidence lure, my go-to almost every single time, is a fluke. Those days where I'm really struggling to really figure out what's going on, I've tried just about everything, and I'm getting really frustrated. Time and time again, I reach for that fluke, it's guarantee. I'm always gonna get something. So how do I fish my fluke? On my spinning rod, my spinning gear, completely weightlessly, guys, completely weightlessly. I don't like putting any kind of weight on my fluke whatsoever because it impedes the action that that fluke has. On a four-aught extra wide gap trocar hook is an absolutely deadly. Now, here's just another example of how amazing a fluke can actually be. I took out two of my best friends and best fishing buddies out in the Florida Everglades. We struggled. We struggled really hard to find those fish, to actually find a consistent bite. After being tired of struggling all day, I reached for my fluke. And it happened. I started hitting fish. Fish after fish after fish. I actually outfished those boys about 10 to 1. Now this isn't saying anything about those two guys, they're both excellent anglers, they both work very hard and they consistently put up good numbers. But on this day in particular, I threw my fluke and I caught about 12 fish when they each only got one or maybe two. Those boys threw everything under the sun they had at them. They went for, through crankbaits, through chatterbaits, through every type of worm, from Senkos to their confidence lures, and yet I outfished them about 10 to 1. Wonder why that happened. So was it the lure that I'll fish him, or was it my confidence, or was it just a fluke? Oh, we are definitely struggling today. We tried the top water thing, it's not working at all. Might as well throw my confidence lure. At least get on a fish or two, figure something out. Come on. Never fails, my fluke. Guaranteed every single time I, I when I struggle, throw throw a fluke, guarantee I'm gonna start catching something. Here we go. That's a better one. There's a decent fish guys. There we go. At least something decent today. Actually, he's heavy for a little guy though. There we go guys, fluke, fluke, fluke. When in doubt, go with your confidence, guys. Here's that. Oh, that feels like a piece of fish. There we go, guys. Yeehaw! They're loving the fluke, man. Loving the fluke. Loved it so much he actually swallowed it. There we go. So he swallowed the whole thing. Good.
This one just kills them. I catch way more on this color. Just another little one. Felt that one hit. Oh, guys, the fluke is outfitting everything, and I don't know if it's necessary. The fluke, guys, it's all about confidence. It's about confidence throwing what you have the most confidence in. That's what I think it is. There he goes. Oh no! I got it on camera, but I'm definitely gonna erase that. That's gonna get edited out. There we go. There we go, guys. Woo! Leaping Lanny Pope, folk. Best one, best one for me today. Guys, beautiful, beautiful. Lots of hatchy Everglades bass. They are really dark out here, aren't they? Saturday. You both going to chatterbaits? Yeah, I'm ready. You never know, man. Maybe, maybe that's the key. Chunker. Nice. This is a strong, fat little fish. All right, guys. Again, the fluke came through. This is probably the best fish I got, or definitely the best fish I got today. It's gonna be close to two pounds. He's a he's a strong and chunky. Hey, buddy. Thank you. Here it is. Trick worm. Those don't work, I thought you said. Oh, you guys actually using the same thing now? Oh. Get him. You got him. Go. So Got his top top water. Top water guys. Decent bass actually, guys. Look at that. <laughs> Best bass of the day, for it at the end. There we go, guys. Easy way to end the day. There we go, guys. Nice way. Well, there you have it, guys. Once again, I was able to take a very unproductive and frustrating day and turn it around, all thanks to Fish and a Fluke. As I said, those guys both tried everything in their tackle boxes and they were struggling big time. So what's the rhyme and reason behind this? Is it the lure? Is it the confidence? Was it the color? Or is it just the flute? 
I'll let you guys be the judge. You tell me, why was I so much more successful on this particular day than these two guys were? Was it the lure? Was it the color? Was it just my confidence? But if I have my vote, I believe it was just the food. Well guys, I really hope you enjoyed this and I hope you learned a little something out here today. If you did, make sure you smash the heck out of that like button. And leave a comment for me on anything else you'd like to see me film out here. I'll do my very best to make a video out of each and every one of those guys. But most importantly, subscribe to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, stay subscribed guys because there's plenty more coming in Sawgrass Bass in the future. One last time from beautiful South Florida. Fishing with confidence or is it just a fluke? Captain Mikey signing out. The future is bright. You keep those lines tight.